Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's your rule of thumb when it comes to sex? It's not fun unless we're both having fun. If she's having fun, I'm having fun. Along those same lines, I've always told my partners the biggest turn on for me is if they're turned on and enjoying themselves. What if I have fun and she gets money? Who doesn't like getting money? Question mark exclamation mark. That sounds fun to everyone. Always pee afterwards, and before, and during. If they don't make you feel special when you're not having sex, the sex won't be good either. Sounds corny but, everything is foreplay, has some merit, at least when you're old and fat like me. Meaning that every interaction matters. And those benign little nothing kindnesses make your partner feel appreciated. And seen. And loved. And that matters some sexy time. Or, IDC if you are old and fat. You're sweet. Don't forget where you put down the keys if you're using handcuffs. And definitely don't use zip ties. Ever. Oh yeah no. Learned that the hard way. Ended up getting loose with one of those little Swiss army. Knife saws but never again was way too shitty of an experience. Practice good hygiene prior. Especially trimming the fingernails. Not just trim. But use a fucking emery board or run them up and down your jeans a bit to smooth out the edges. Also. Wash your hands after running your nails up and down your jeans. I know when each of you last washed your jeans. And frankly I'm horrified. If you can't talk about sex with them, don't have sex with them. We all know our bodies and what we want better than anyone else. You will never have bad sex again if you have it with someone you can talk about it with before, during and afterwards. My mum has told me on multiple occasions, if you can use your mouth to go down on someone you can. Use it to communicate, and you shouldn't be going down on someone if you can't. She said the same thing to me. Shower before. Shower after. Shower together. Sorry. But no TV. My ad is bad enough last thing I want is to go limp dick noodle inside ya cause someone's making a mean ass hamburger in the background. We started making out. And she took off my pants. But then I turned on the TV. And that's about the time she walked away from me. Nobody likes you when you're 23. <laughs> Young dudes. Don't use porn as a guide. Most women don't want to be choked or spanked or whatever you see on spank bang. And if they do that's a discussion that needs to be had. Or after you two are comfortable with each other. Treat people how you want to be treated. If a girl stuck three dry fingers up your ass without your consent, you prob wouldn't like it. If a girl stuck three dry fingers up your ass this sentence was unexpected. If the sentence is unexpected, just imagine how the action goes over. He ain't wrong though. When I had, the talk, with my son many years ago I told him I knew he was going to look at porn. And that was fine. So long as he understood it wasn't going to give him realistic expectations of what sex was like. I said porn is to sex what Star Wars is to space travel. A fun fantasy, but that's where it stops. I said porn is to sex what Star Wars is to space travel. A fun fantasy, but that's where it stops. I have boys that will be needing the talk soon and I am so stealing this line. If you stick your dick in crazy, remember not to leave it there. As long as crazy doesn't know where you live, you have a better chance. Or have your number or social media. Nobody's ugly after 2am but remember it's always before 2am somewhere. Could argue it's always after 2am somewhere also. I need a lawyer next week, you free. If it doesn't fit don't force it. Never had that problem pensive face. This is not a problem you want to run into. First oral, second anal. Never change the order. You never go ass to mouth. In the heat of the moment, it can be forgivable to go ass to mouth. Or ass to puss that's how you get an infection. If she says you don't need a condom, you need to put on two. Next tip. Never put on two condoms. No objection to thumbs. If it fits, I sits. What if your partner doesn't have thumbs? Leave the horse alone. I don't even put my dick in until my wife comes first. Me too but, only because I'm a massive four second marathon kinda guy. I have this newfound ability that I kind of hate where I resist the urge to get off too soon and. Then I just can't get off after that. I'm glad to be a giver but then it's like damn, IDK if I can get off. And it's not you. It's me. Frustrating. I don't even put my dick in until my wife comes first well of course not. If your wife isn't even there then what's there to stick your dick into in the first place? A thumb in the bum means everyone has fun. We had one yes, but how about a second thumb? I don't think they know about second thumb. Wash your dick first I'm not kidding. Don't give her a rooty. Wash your dick. Ideally, wash your entire body by taking a shower. But if you're pressed for time, at least wash your dick. Who in their right mind doesn't attend regular personal hygiene in a moment leading to an intimate settings? Plenty of guys until told otherwise I'm sure. Easy to be a savage if dirty parts don't particularly endanger your health. People who showered in the morning. Went through an entire sweaty workday. 
stopped by the bar for some food immediately after work, and didn't plan on meeting a hot blonde at the bar who would then invite him over to her place for a one-night stand. Yeah, those people don't shower before an intimate setting. There was a story here on Reddit I just read today of this poor girl asking her BF to get her antibiotics for her 20th UTI in less than two years he's given her. And he straight up refused. It was a four-minute drive for him. He found the post and broke up with her because he couldn't admit that he had a dirty dick.